Well, the need for blood donors is a constant thing, and the effort to raise awareness is known around the world. The Next Care Give program is in its seventh year, encouraging people everywhere to roll up their sleeves and give. June 14th is World Blood Donor Day, and some great things are happening up to the week for it to happen. Hello, I'm here with Stephanie Archangelo. She's with the American Red Cross. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. Uh, so talk a little bit about the need, especially in the summertime, for blood. Well, yeah, so the need for blood is constant. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. does need blood. And in the summer, it's particularly difficult for the Red Cross to collect blood and platelet donations. Many of our regular donors have vacations scheduled. In addition, approximately 20% of our blood donations come from high school and college campuses, which of course are out during the summer. So even though those uh, campuses are out for the summer, the need does remain. And so what is the Next Care Give program? How does that help that? Sure, the Next Care Give program is a partnership between Next Care Bandages and the American Red Cross to help raise awareness about this constant need for blood, especially during the summer. And what are you doing to raise awareness? Yeah, so um, between June 8th and June 14th, which is World Blood Donor Day, all presenting donors who come out to give at American Red Cross blood drives across the country will receive a limited edition Next Care Give bandage. So we've got, um, we've got one here. Uh, we've got eight different designs. You can see them up there on your screen. And so when you do come out to give, you'll get that as a way to show uh, that Next Care is a culture of giving. Um, that's what the theme is this year. So it's a really cool um, incentive for presenting donors to get this week. And how do they pick all those designs there? You know, I'm not really sure uh, completely. You know, it really shows um, a culture of giving. So they're bright, they're vibrant. People who give um, are giving back to their community through blood donation. And so we really appreciate Next Care for all of their support. Kind of a badge of pride or honor versus just kind of that what is it, the clear band-aids that you yeah, usually see? Yeah, so it's something to kind of show that, you know, you rolled up your sleeve and it, it's going to give you a little bit more prominence when you go back to work that day after you give. That's right, and then people will ask you, what a cool bandage, what's the deal? Absolutely, and if you come out between June 8th and June 14th, you'll receive one of those. And like you said earlier, the need is just so great. Um, does all of the blood stay in the state, or do you also disperse it throughout the uni United States? Yeah, so the local needs are met first. But as a national blood system, the Red Cross can provide blood donations to our um, 2,600 hospital and transfusion partners across the country. So on average, the Red Cross needs to collect, collect approximately 15,000 units of blood each day to help meet patient needs. And how is Connecticut when it comes to blood donation versus maybe other states? Well, you know, um, we need to collect collect about between 400 and 450 units of blood each day. And I'll tell you, during the months of June, July, and August, about two fewer donors present to donate at blood drives than what is actually needed. That can add up to approximately 100,000 units of blood that go uncollected. So if two additional donors show up each, uh, at each blood drive each day, um, that should help us meet the hospital patient needs. What is the current status with blood donations in, in the state? Oh, well, right now our blood supply is sufficient. So oh, we good. are meeting ha hospital patient needs. But as we said, June, July, and August, that's really the critical time for us to collect uh, blood donations. So it's important that even though, though the blood supply is stable, that you do come out to roll up your sleeve if you are eligible. That's great. So on June 14th, where can people do that? They can do that anywhere across the state. So if you visit redcrossblood.org, you can type in your zip code and you can find um, all of the blood donation opportunities you have. So if you come out between June 8th and June 14th, so all week long, you can celebrate World Blood Donor Day. And you can get one of those cool Band-Aids right there. That's right. All right. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Thank Thank you. Angelo, I appreciate it so much. And for more information, you can always head to WTNH.com, click the on-air tab, and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.